This is Todd Tracy with the Tracy Law Firm in Dallas, Texas with another Todd Talk. Today I want to talk with you about recalls. The sad part about recalls is the fact that we have been so inundated with recalls in the past 10 years that people become, that, that's, that they've just become immune to them. So when you get the information in the mail, uh, you don't pay attention to it because they they have recalls on the windshield wiper. They'll have a recall on on a tag on a vehicle, but the recall system needs to be uh, coordinated based upon what is the severity of potential injury, or what is the severity of a fatality that's occurring. We don't need to be recalling for every minor incident out there. We need to recall um, for. Uh, for vehicle defects, they're going to kill people or seriously injure people. Another problem with our recall system is the fact that it only applies to the original owner. If if you buy a vehicle pre-owned, you're never going to get the recall. You're never going to get the first-hand recall letter. You're going to have to rely upon the manufacturer running an ad in the newspaper, a magazine, or a, or a television ad, uh, giving a public service announcement on that. The recall system um, does work to a certain extent, provided there's enough coverage. A prime example of that is the Takata recall, but uh, there are many other recalls out there that are just as potentially hazardous that get no air time or no uh, newspaper time at all. And until that is rectified, the recall, uh, the recall notification system is going to remain flawed and people will totally disregard uh, getting their vehicles repaired.